winter weekends and I'm thinking of comfort food and for me that means a beautiful pie. I love pies and today I'm going to make a special pie using beef cheek and Cooper's sparkling ale. What could be more South Australian than that? The reason I like beef cheek in my pies is because it is so gelatinous and cooks to a beautiful velvety tenderness. I'm just putting a few aromatics like uh, celery, carrot and onion all about and some fresh bay leaves from my garden and some parsley stalks. And then add our Cooper's sparkling ale. Now put in a few strips of orange zest, that cuts through the fattiness of the meat. Cover it with a double layer of alfoil and then into the oven for at least two hours before you even start checking at about 180 degrees. Now, celery, carrot and onion will give our gravy a beautiful depth of flavour. So we'll put those into a pan with a little bit of olive oil and just brown them off. Now for the next flavour hit, we've got some caraway seed and a little bit of garlic. That's about two cloves, which will be good for me. Give that another little stir, because now we're going to add the parsley. Put that all in, in one go, and just let that cook for another little minute or two before we add the butter. This is about 80 grams of butter that we're putting in, and it'll give it a beautiful richness and about two big tablespoons of flour, just sprinkled over the vegetables like that, and then another big stir. Let the flour cook off a little bit. Okay, let's put in a little bit more bay leaf, two would do, and some orange zest. And then more beer. You can't have too much beer, I don't think. When that's reduced by half, it's time to add a whole tin of chopped tomatoes. Leave that on the lowest possible heat until it's thick and glossy and really there's not much else you can do until your beef cheek's tender and soft. Time to see if our beef cheek is cooked. Oh yes, I can feel that even with my fingers. So let's take it out, trim away some of the fat and then cut it up and add it to our gravy. We'll give it a good stir and then we'll turn it off and let it cool and that'll give us time to make our pastry. This is beautiful Paris Creek yogurt and I like to use it in my short crust pastry because it gives it a beautiful flavour and adds a certain richness as well. So my pastry then is very simple. 500 grams of flour, give it a whiz in your machine and add a pinch of salt. Next. Add 125 grams of unsalted butter and four big tablespoons of that beautiful yogurt. Bring it all together so that it forms a ball and let it sit for about half an hour before you roll it out. This recipe will make eight small pies or one big family sized one. So I'll take my ramekin that I've already buttered and floured and just ease the pastry in like so. Fill the pie up high and make sure if you see some big pieces of zest that you take it out and certainly take out the bay leaf. I'm putting the little lid on now and then trim off any excess pastry around the edge and then squeeze the edges together so that it's a nice tight seal. Glaze the top with a little beaten egg, then into the oven 180 for about 20 minutes. Serve this gorgeous pie with some steamed vegetables and I've given you some details too for a pear and tomato chutney that goes so well with this little pie. Download this recipe from our website, salife7.com.au. And remember, every month, lots of recipes in SA Life magazine. I do hope you'll try my beef cheek and Cooper's ale pie. It's the kind of dish that makes winter worthwhile. Mm -hmm.